Hey everybody, it's Avery, and we're going to go do some zero waste shopping. So, we're going to head out to Bulk Barn. They're supposed to be freezing rain tomorrow, so they put out a special weather warning. And we don't have any snacks, and I don't know if it's just like a New Brunswick thing, or all of Canada, or I don't know, you guys can let me know, but there's something, when the storm is coming, we say, get your storm chips. And so that's what we're going to do, but we're not going to go buy a bag, a plastic bag of chips. So we're going to go head to Bulk Barn and see what we can find. Oh, and Lily wants to say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. See, we're going to go to Bulk Barn. Hi. All right, so we're at Bulk Barn, and the weather is really gross. It's really rainy and just not a fun sunny day. And it's also yeah. a Saturday, which... I didn't realize right away that it was Saturday and we never go shopping on a Saturday because it's so crazy busy out. Yeah, it's easy <laughs> because it's so crazy busy out. So I don't know how much I'll be able to get inside, but um, what you do is you go inside Bulk Barn, you get your either mason jars or whatever you're going to put in, uh, put your food in weighed and then you just go fill it up you bring it back and they'll take the weight of the glass or whatever you're using off so you just pay what you're filling up <laughs> yes she loves the camera so that's what we're gonna do today so i'll show you what i brought so this is i love this basket my husband got me it a few years ago so i we need snacks i don't know what we're getting but i have three mason jars that I'll be using and this very old container this was my mom's container yeah one second this was my mom's container um oh it still has the weight on it from last time um and I have it now it was my mom's from like when I was little and we just had cereal in it so we're out of rice I'm gonna get that filled up with rice and, but something funny, last time I went, I had uh, another one of these, and I went to get it, uh, when it, went to get it weighed, and it had, like, a little chip on the side. Like, it's still closed, fine, Daddy nothing. Jelly beans. <laughs> jelly beans? Nothing could get in or out what of the container, it? but they said I couldn't use it, and I have to bring something else next time. So, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But, um, this is my other one, it's fine, so we'll go pick it up, because someone's getting cranky and wants to go in the store. Right? You getting cranky? Alright, let's go! again so we just got back from the bulk barn and I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and if I would buy it again our grand total was $26.84 Canadian so that's a lot for what I got um, I got some rice some what's this called party mix a tiny bit. There's a couple more in here, <laughs> but on the ride home we ate some some mini Reese's pieces and some chocolate covered pretzels. Okay, so for our snacks, um, the party mix was ninety three cents. Great. 
because this is about the size of a bag of it at the dollar store and I would get it for about a dollar so that's perfect so I usually get party mix I knew how much that was and um, maybe some chocolate to bring when we go to movie nights in the movie theater so I have a zero waste movie date I don't know what she's laughing at. Alright, so the next thing was the chocolate covered pretzels. And this was Lily's pick. And we didn't get a lot. There's like two other two other ones in here. And it came up to 59 cents. I'm fine with that. Um because we just we don't get this often. So it's a little treat, which is nice. The Reese's the mini Reese's peanut butter cups on the other hand for this much was $1.82. That's a lot. All right, so the Reese's mini peanut butter cups. We ate a few. Sorry, I just had a coughing fit. My eyes are watering. Um, they were a little expensive. They were $1.82, but this is a treat. We don't get it often. I could get a pack, a plastic pack of it. The dollars are like three bigger ones for a dollar. Yeah, I don't mind this because we don't get it often. And it's just a little treat. Now if I filled this whole thing up, yeah, that, that would be a little bit expensive. But still, it'd be more expensive at the movie theaters if you bought a thing of mini Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So, my eyes, yeah, I'd buy it again. It's worth it. And I have. <laughs> I've bought that a few times. Um, the next thing we got was apple cider vinegar with the mother. Always buy it with the mother. It was $5.49. This is their smaller bottle, so it's 500 uh, mils. I've tried this before. I really like it. I used to rinse my hair um, after I was shampooing in it. Um, the reason I bought this is because I'm hosting a zero waste class, a zero waste um, workshop. So you guys should come. <clears throat> It's next month, and we're going to be making a zero, a zero waste uh, all-purpose cleaner. So I'm going to use my favorite recipe. I'm not going to tell you guys here right now. It does have white vinegar, and I looked everywhere to find zero waste uh, distilled white vinegar. Um, in the States, they do have it. They have it in glass, and it's I believe it's by Kraft, and we don't. So we have, <coughs> they're, like, they're huge. They're huge. Uh, big jugs of white vinegar for I think a dollar fifty and it lasts me a really long time and it can do so many things it can replace so many products um, like for the laundry for cleaning and a whole bunch more I can't think about right now but it does so much and it lasts so long and then I recycle the jug or use it to water my plants or something like that. So in my eyes that is low waste and it's worth it especially for the price because you don't want to go into debt <laughs> and you don't want to spend all your money. Um, but this like I said I'm going to try it out and swap it with um, for the recipe that we're going to be using. Um, I looked it up online it says it's fine if you use it with the mother which this one has it. And in case people are like, no, I don't want to, I don't want any plastic at all. Um, I'd rather use the apple cider vinegar. So we're going to have this option in glass. It is more expensive, but also some recipes I want to try. You can do arm, armpit detox. I've tried it before. It's great. And there's a recipe I want to try um, to use this as a toner. This is um, one of the ingredients for the toner. And... I really want to try that. I enjoy apple cider vinegar so much. It also has so many great benefits. And for these recipes, I'll need a little, little bit. And this is going to last me a long time, and it's in glass. So, yeah, I would buy it again, especially if I like it for cleaning. Um, I might use that, but for my beauty stuff, this is definitely worth it because you only need a couple teaspoons or tablespoons. But for cleaning, I'm probably still going to use my uh, white distilled vinegar. Next thing I got was uh, almond milk. So I never buy this brand. Um, when we were in there I remembered that we needed some almond milk so I grabbed this. It was $2.99. It's pretty standard for almond milk. It's nothing fancy. I do not make my own almond milk. I have tried and it cost me like 10 bucks to make. And it took a lot of time and finding the little 
like almond udders are really really difficult <laughs> sorry it's a joke and it's just not worth it for me this is recyclable and I I think it's worth it I asked a few questions around and they said that these cartons like cartons and cans are more likely to be recycled that's what I've been told in my research so I buy all the milk and if we have juice I buy it in cartons because they're more likely to be recycled again that's what I've been told in my research but it could be different in your area so this is what I got at Bulk Barn some jasmine rice I would not buy it again at Bulk Barn I would buy it at Superstore so this tub it looks pretty big it is big it's a cereal size container cereal size cereal cereal box size container of jasmine rice and it was $14.52. I would not buy this again because when I go to the grocery store, usually usually uh, shop at Superstore, and I could get a huge, huge, like this big, I wish I knew how many kilograms it was, but huge bag of jasmine rice for about 20 bucks. That's way more than this and it would be five dollars more to get a whole bunch that would last me months and months and months and months so we have rice almost every night so that i would not buy that again zero waste and again that bag is going to last me a long time and the bags of rice that they put into the bulk bin at bulk barn are about that size so you're cutting out the middleman here and just going straight for the big uh, bulk bag. So that's why I would still think I bought this before it was too expensive and I wasn't thinking I guess when I was there. I needed rice. I was there. I'm not going to waste gas and go all around. So I got that this time and next time I'm not buying it at Bulk Barn. So overall Bulk Barn it's a great place to shop especially if you need some treats or even if you're looking for certain spices and just need a little bit of this a little bit of that. Um, they also have a wide range of glass containers for um, your bulk items. They have reusable bags. They have a whole bunch of straws in all different sizes. They have reusable cutlery. They have beeswax food wraps, snack bags, a lot of different zero waste stuff. And they also have a section with essential oils and bars of soap. They have Hmm. They have Epsom salts there. They have soap nuts there. They have shampoo and conditioner bar. I want to, I don't know. I'm not going to say not to try it. If you try it, let me know. Um, I found a shampoo bar and conditioner that I love, so I'm never going to switch. I just love it so much. Um, so they have, they have those too. Especially Epsom salts would be great. They have coconut oil, they have peanut butter, molasses, honey, all zero waste. And those are things that I do buy all the time. So it is worth it to me. But you gotta keep in mind what your budget is and um, if it's if it's better to cut out the middleman and go and get the big bags of whatever you need, do that. Because that's what I do and I consider that low waste or zero waste because they use those bags too. That's what it comes in to the store has. So some things are worth it because I don't want a plastic bag, a whole bunch of plastic bags with these little Reese's Pieces cups or whatever lying around. So that's worth it to me because they come with those big bags and they put it all in the bin and I only take what I need in a little bit. And it's a great price. So I really hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any other things you would like to see from me, Comment that also below, like this video, and subscribe. See ya!